it's game over for the city girls because they are breaking up and it looks like it's gonna be for good and y'all are not gonna believe what young Miami has to say about this mess and the city girls aren't the only ones breaking up because Megan the Stallion pretty much came out of her month's hiatus to publicly dump party uh what is going on it looks like the city girls are over and done with because there's a lot of messy drama that's been going on between them from what we know the drama has been brewing behind the scenes for a while now I'm not gonna lie I was kind of surprised that they broke up so fast especially because they grew up together and they seem to be really close young Miami was there for JT when JT was in prison because she was promoting the city girls all on her own paying DJs and clubs to play their songs and was just running the thing all by herself now I know that a lot of duos groups and bands break up all the time but these two have known each other since they were teenagers and they came up together I wouldn't be so surprised if they broke up a couple of years down the line but they've only been doing music for five or six years now and I expected them to stick it out for a little longer than they have but then again knowing music they probably have been doing this for way longer than we know behind the scenes but what's really interesting here is the reason they're breaking up because it's a result of long-standing drama and it looks like a big part of the drama comes from the fact that young Miami no longer has JT's back like she used to a lot of people close to them have pointed out that Miami no longer rides for JT as hard as she used to now whenever Miami is getting dragged on Twitter or people are coming for her JT is always there to defend Miami and drag whoever is coming for her bestie for example when Diddy's other side piece Gina Young tried to clown Miami after Diddy had a baby on her JT was quick to jump to Miami's defense saying he sent you to the chop shop sit this one out but when JT had her messy fight with Cardi Miami had nothing to say about it I'm talking about the nasty fight where Cardi accused JT of being Nicki Minaj's lapdog Cardi called JT untalented dragged her for not being a hit maker yet and also clowned her for being a prison head it was a wild time to be on twitter because the fight was just so crazy if the roles had been reversed jt would have been up in arms and fighting cardi for carisha but miami was silent throughout the fight she tried to claim that she was asleep during the fight but people weren't buying that story because it was obvious that she was just trying to save face like you was really sleeping beauty during a whole fight sis just tell the truth and say you ain't want to get in between cardi because you know the weight that she holds while they both tried to continue playing bestie on social media it became more and more clear that things weren't so great between them when Miami had her birthday party a couple of days ago it seemed like she invited half of Hollywood because everybody was there well everyone except JT and once again this got people talking oh and don't even get me started on the fact that they no longer even attend industry events together for example Miami was noticeably absent at the Rock Nation brunch and JT looked painfully awkward alone at the event <laughs> So it's kind of obvious to everybody that they're both doing their own things right now and not focusing so much on each other. Sure, they're both growing, but they're growing apart and building their brand separately instead of together like they used to before. JT recently became an ambassador for Kiss and Miami has been focusing on building her Carisha Please brand. She has the talk show as well as some merch that she sells. Oh, and then she also has Diddy, who is her sugar daddy, boyfriend, something of the sort. Listen, we don't really know what's going on between those two, okay? And I've given up trying to understand because they're both just so messy but anywho Carisha's situation with Diddy has had people believing that this is a major reason that she hasn't been focusing on the city girls so much I mean she doesn't have to work so much because he's giving her 500k a month plus he's helping her to build the Carisha Please brand then there's the fact that JT doesn't exactly seem to be a big fan of Miami's relationship with Diddy based on her reaction at the BET Awards <laughs> Miami even claimed that she no longer raps saying B I don't even rap no more I retired well it looks like JT is done with the whole city girls thing because she is moving on with her life and leaving Miami behind she recently unfollowed the city girls official page on Instagram and if that isn't a clear message then I don't know what is someone commented young Miami is fake AF Cardi called her and city girls a flop dragged her friend JT for no reason dissed the city girls on the tomorrow two verse and she still wants to interview with her like the fakeness is another level another person said I keep saying this city girls are breaking up this year both women distancing themselves and it's very obvious they don't like each other and this other person said jt could do better solo miami always sounds like she has nasal congestion child these people are rude as hell well according to an insider young miami doesn't really care so much about the city girls breaking up because she has so much more going on for her than that she is securing the bag and that's all that matters to her the insider also added that while things are kind of cold between miami and jt it's unlikely that they're going to stop being friends because they have a long 
long history together. Just because the city girls are breaking up doesn't mean that they're going to break up as friends. Things are rough, but they're going to figure it out. Maybe not now, but somewhere along the line. I can agree. After a certain point in time, you're kind of like sisters. And that's just a hard bond to break regardless of the fight. And speaking of breakups, can we talk about Megan the Stallion and Party? Because it looks like they've called it quits yet again. When I say again, I'm talking about the fact that they kind of sort of broke up in January last year because Party reportedly had issues with how Megan behaved whenever she had been drinking and couldn't take it anymore. But they sorted things out and they've been together for more than two years now. But it looks like they might have broken up yet again because Megan has unfollowed him on Instagram. And if there's one thing that we know about celebs, like I always say, is that when they unfollow a partner on social media, it's almost always a sign that there's trouble in paradise. What's really wild about this is that Megan hasn't been on Instagram since November. And that's like two and a half months now. That's like a decade in celebrity years. Can y'all imagine being so angry at your man that you break your hiatus just to unfollow him and nothing else? That's just a level of petty that most of us can only hope for. I'm not gonna lie, the timing of this is kind of weird too because Party was there for Megan throughout her messy court case with Tori. He stood up for her on Instagram saying, to any woman, especially ones of color, that has suffered any injustice, I feel you. When you do find the courage to speak up, it seems you will be ridiculed. Your credibility will be questioned. Your entire past will be held under a magnifying glass. In an instant, you can go from victim to defendant in the eyes of the public. I know that life happens, but I just gotta wonder what happened to them in the space of just a couple of months. And I'm not gonna lie, I think it may have something to do with the Tory case. Y'all know how Megan's past history with men was exposed and spread by Tori's team and she got shamed heavily online. When she took to the stand, she revealed that Party was embarrassed by the media coverage of her past, saying, I feel disgusted, I feel dirty, my own partner is embarrassed, I can't even be happy. Now I'm not saying for sure that that's what happened, but I can't help but to think that that probably played a huge role in their breakup. I mean, how would you feel if you found out that your partner slept with a multitude of people and now the public just knows? People had different reactions to the news of the breakup, leaving comments like, if Party and Megan for real broke up, I am not happy and I'm really praying for Meg cause she's been through way too much to add a breakup on top of that. Megan and follow party. Finally, my sister can get a real man, an LMFAO. Not y'all's power couple breaking up. Who gonna ghost write for her now? <laughs> y'all just messy. Megan really does deserve better than this mess cause child, my good sis has been through it. But do you guys think that they really broke up or is this just a stunt to get people talking? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. And if y'all think this video is messy, wait till you check out this next one because hunty oh you gonna love this one it's your girl kiki with the hottest tea peace